All right, everybody, we are going live now. We are officially live. All right. Hey, everybody, as you can see, I'm over here with my trucks right now. I want to go over something with you real quick. And the reason why I'm doing this with the truck in the background is today I'm going to go over our trucking plan with you. Now, the whole idea is there's two different areas that I basically protect people in, besides from families and everything else. It's actually truck drivers, okay? So one of the things I want everybody to understand right now is what I'm gonna go over right now is how to protect the truck drivers on the road with this coronavirus, okay, uh, being out on the road today. And right now, there's five million truck drivers out on the road, all right? And one of the things is they, every day, have to deal with more laws, more restrictions, more regulations, it is a very heavily restricted profession, okay? The turnover rate in the trucking industry is higher than any other industry in the world. And the reason for that is there's over 5 million truckers, there's thousands and thousands of companies out there. And you know, for the most part, trucking is a great industry. It is a beautiful industry, it's a great industry. You get to travel all over the United States, over Canada. Uh, and one of the things is they have problems with, though, is the rules of the road. And a lot of people, they, they think that they're protected with their regular insurance and they're not. What I want to do today is I kind of want to go over a couple things and I want you to get a hold of me later if it interests you on how we can protect you as a truck driver, okay? Now, I belong to what's called Trucker Justice and we have what's called the Trucker Coalition, all right? We've been around since 1972. Now, we actually have law firms that represent all 50 states and all areas of Canada. Okay, and one of the biggest things that we do with this is whenever you're in a state, one of the things that people forget is law firms need to be licensed in the state they're in. So when truckers are crossing state lines, one of the things that they do not always realize is that lawyers have to be licensed in the state that they get their tickets or their fines. Okay, and now with new e-logs and rules and restrictions and everything else, okay, it's really hard to find a lawyer that's going to represent you in the best of your ability. Now, like I said, we're live right now, so it's going to be a little loud over at the lot. And so there's going to be a lot of truckers around me and stuff like that. So if you can't hear, get a hold of me. Now, when I get done with this, I'll post my name and number and everything. Or you can go to Jeff, uh, truck, uh, truckguy.org. Now, the first thing I want you to understand is when you get behind the wheel of a truck, the second you're inside the truck is when this goes into place. We will handle anything, any tickets that deal with over height, over weight, over width, over length, hazmat, medical card. And the reason why we're going to do all this is because when you're going down the road, okay, you can be pulled over for thousands of violations. Now you can get pulled over by state, local, city, uh, regular inspectors and stuff like that. Now I've been doing this for years now and I've there's really new stories that come in every day on the tickets that truck drivers get. Everywhere from getting their truck stuck underneath overpasses to breaking in half to, you know, people getting tickets for parking on the on-ramps and off-ramps, which is illegal. Now, a lot of truck drivers, it's kind of like the Marines. Everybody's like, well, where do you get your ideas from? Well, when I was in the Marine Corps, every one of my Marine Corps brothers was an expert in law. The only difference is they'll be sitting in jail with you once I take their expertise. And that's a bad, bad thing, okay? What you want is you want to have a lawyer be able to answer any of your questions. So one of the things that we do in all of our states is we have no contracts. We have no copays. No termination fees. We believe in our name, okay? Remember Craftsman tools that you used to sell at Sears? What happens if one of those Craftsman tools broke? You take it in, they give you a new one because they believe in their name. Now, are we perfect? Nope. Are we the best thing out there is today? Yeah, but you know what? There's a lot of things because the law is very, very gray in some areas. So as a truck driver, when you're riding on the road, when you're on the road, whether you're in a state, you got to deal with state uh, citations. When you're, or sorry, when you're in a state, you got to deal with state. When city, city, county, county. Okay, if, uh, if you're too heavy for a road, if you're in a school zone, if you're in a non-trucking area, okay, you've got to be able to know what all these signs and everything mean. What, what happens if you don't? What happens if you don't know the rules of the road? There's a thing called CSA. One of the things with CSA used to be your regular MVR, your motor vehicle record report. However, if your CSA points are too high, the companies will let you go because they are not allowed to hire you because the insurance company will either drop you from the insurance or you can fire that driver. So they have no choice. So you can either have the insurance drop a big company or they can drop you as the driver. So the insurance companies are now controlling what's going on. So to give you an idea, a simple seatbelt 
violation whether you're driving or not and they come over and you don't have your seatbelt on but you're pulled over on the side of the road and you don't have it on they can give you a ticket for it okay if you are going in from Iowa to Nebraska and say you've got two cartons of cigarettes on your front seat they can actually give you points and they give you a ticket for contraband because you're only allowed to have one carton of cigarettes everything else is considered contraband okay now you gotta understand the laws are gonna vary state to state and not every single person knows every single law. Any trucker will tell you that little blue book they give you, the, the freaking rules change monthly in this book because they're always putting on new laws, new rules. They think every truck driver in the world has all the money in the world. Thing about it is truckers don't. In fact, on average, truckers make between 30 and $40,000 after all their payouts at the end of the year. Now, if you've been with a company for a while, yes, you probably have made about 100000 a year. Some of them can retire nicely. But let's face it, the stricter the rules get, the more you're going to have to basically have some type of legal in order to protect you so you don't have to keep making payouts all the time for things you don't understand. My job is to make you knowledgeable of the rules of the road, to let you know what the rules of the road are and how they work. Okay? Now, when you go into court, you know, our lawyers, what we're going to do is we're going to send in our referral attorneys with you into court. Now, unless it's some type of felony, unless it's some type of uh, criminal violation, meaning you killed somebody or you were drinking and driving. By the way, we do not condone drinking and driving or any type of drug whatsoever. When you go in, as long as it's over height, overweight, over width, over length, hazmat, medical card, as long as it's not a felony citation, we will actually go represent you in the court okay now our lawyers do not just we don't just go hire the cheapest lawyer our lawyers are vetted they've been with us okay and all of our drivers and our members get to judge and evaluate each and every one of the lawyers that we give them now our main law firms work just for our members but with trucking we have to use referral attorneys because you can get pulled over in any state city county in the united states and canada okay and because of this, we want to make sure that you are taken care of. Now, for the most part, if you get a ticket or a citation, it can cost you $1,000 for one ticket. So take, for instance, you're picking up a load in one area, and you forget the scale at that weigh house. Okay, so you're basically picking up a load, and you forget the scale. You're 3,000 pounds overweight. You get pulled over, guess what? They're looking at you being overweight. Now you got an overweight ticket. Okay, you're trying to get through an overpass. You're over height. You didn't measure your little antennas or your CB antennas, believe it or not, a lot of them, that's how they measure how high they are. But if you don't, you're gonna get an over height ticket. Overweight ticket, quit eating the Twinkies, I'm telling you right now. I know a lot of y'all, one hot dog away from a heart attack. All right, but being realistic, when you're on the road, you need to have a lawyer work for you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We have what's called an emergency system. We have an app on our phone. You push the button, you're gonna get an emergency lawyer. I tell my truck drivers to use this app whenever they can. As a member with us, you will actually have an app that has the emergency situation. So some people are like, well, it's insurance. Well, it's not insurance. Insurance is something you put on a shelf and you wait till a rainy day to use. And sometimes it gets really, really dusty and you're like, man, why do I gotta keep paying the insurance? Because you have to have it. With us, the reason why we are not insurance is because you can use us for more than just emergency situations. You can call the lawyer Monday through Friday non-holidays and ask any question you want over unlimited questions. Ask them whatever you want. They're going to call you back within four business hours. If you have an emergency situation, you can use our emergency button. We also give you about $2,600 in savings on what's called member perks for just being a member of ours. Now, if you don't like us, you don't have to use us. You can just get rid of us because we have no contracts, no co-pays, no deductibles, no termination fees. There's not another company out there going to offer that. The reason why is because we know that everybody's situation is going to be different. Every CSA point that you get is going to be different. If they pull you over, did you know a warning ticket put CSA points on your record? A simple warning ticket can put CSA points on your ticket. Now, as of August of 2014, the country and the government basically made it allowed that points can now finally come off and be taken off of your CSA point. But you got to have somebody in your company or somebody like us take them off for you. If you want to get a hold of me later on, call my number 217-316-0219 and I can answer the best questions the best I can. Right now, this is just a quick, in-depth kind of thing I'm doing for fun because I'm going to go back and edit this because I'm going to do a real video with all of our stuff here for you guys one of these days. Right now, I just with the coronavirus going on and nobody being out and about, 
it was easy for me to do this without getting anybody sick or getting around too many people. But right now, remember this, truck drivers are heroes. They're on the road right now driving, okay? And for everybody that's not a truck driver, if you see them at McDonald's or Hardee's or somewhere else, ask them if they, you can drive to the parking lot for them to go through the drive through Because remember, trucks cannot go through drive throughs Neither can individual people walk up to a drive through window. And right now with this coronavirus, take care of our truckers. They're taking care of us right now. Who knows, that trucker you just helped, he could be having the hand sanitizer and the masks and the gloves in back of his or her truck, okay? Truckers come in all shapes and sizes, just like military and just like every one of us. They're heroes like everybody else. They pick up from the train yard, they pick up from the docks, they pick up from the companies, they pick up from the warehouses. The reason why I take pride in taking care of you as the truck driver is because I know you're out there every day and you're taken for granted. The thing about it is I also know you're just like military. You got a lot of time on your hands, PTSD kicks in, you're thinking about things you could be doing. But for all, you guys are family-ordinated people, you guys are God-fearing people, and the truck drivers I got to know and love, they're out there every day working their butts off. Because if these trucks don't run, none of us are able to get our jobs done. So, I protect truck drivers. If you guys need anything, get a hold of me. I'll put my name and number on everything that you see here today. And remember, I'm gonna help you guys protect you with all types of criminal situations, all 50 states, no contracts. If you don't like us, you don't gotta keep us. But let's do it this way. Let's get your record clean, or let's get you protected for so that something happens later on down the road. You don't have to go to court unless a judge makes you go to court, okay? Like I said, we are the lawyers. We have some of the best lawyers around, but everybody's situation is different. My name is Jeffrey Jansen. I hope y'all are having a great day, and I will talk with everybody later. They just love this truck behind me. JD is over here looking at me when I'm going to get done. Now, this is a live feed, so I can say whatever I want. JD, come here and say hi. Come here, JD. JD acts like he's the Incredible Hulk, like ripping off his shirt, like, look at me, everybody. <laughs> This is J.D. Walker. You guys hear me mention him all the time about his son, Jeff. Okay? His son, Jeff, was pictures on the other side. No. Oh, on the back side. On the back side. Yeah. Anyway, this is J.D. He's from over here in Mendon, Illinois. He's been driving truck for a long time. Road's pretty empty right now? Yeah. Most definitely. <laughs> so how hard is it to go get food if you go into, like, McDonald's or Wendy's or something like that? <laughs> You're not going there. <laughs> You're but, not gonna go through the drive-through, that's for sure. But if that's, somebody's there, it's yeah. a great, great deal for somebody. Just you know, it's not you don't gotta pay for their food or anything. Just see if you can drive through the drive-through for them because they can't do it. And I don't know about y'all, but sometimes these guys gotta pee like a racehorse. Some they they're hungry as heck. I don't know if you ever take the West Virginia Turnpike, but you're doing your best to stay awake. It's a really nice road, but it's very you're tired. So mm -hmm. anyway, I'm gonna let everybody go now. This here's one of the heroes of the road. Just go up and thank these guys. You know what? They don't get the credit they deserve. I know you see us doing it all the time, but give them the credit they deserve. They're on the road driving when others can't. All right, everybody, let's protect their license. If you need to get a hold of me to help you get protected, we will. And I'll talk to everybody soon. Bye, guys.